All right, all right, wonderful people, lovers of freedom, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to each and every one of you. Welcome back to Let's Talk TV, your one and only YouTube platform, where they're giving a back-to-back -back update on how things they be or how things they shell it for Biafra land and beyond. If you're joining us for the first time, remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too. Also remember to like and share this broadcast too. Okay, my wonderful people, the latest one with the buzz brains at the moment, yes. We say, yes, I hope Uzodema has sacked the Minister of Land. Yes, I, I, if you don't know, no, I'm now. Say, I hope Uzodema don't sack Minister of Land <laughs> and has appointed himself Minister of Land. <laughs> my people, it's funny until you actually know what this man's intention is. Now, so it be. You know that uh, this particular man has always been a man that has been a puppet for Jagaban Tinubu. And we all know that uh, before time, um, Jagaban and Tinubu and the Fulani jihadis have always been people that have been in support of um, of um, the the giving of land to the Fulani headsmen or giving up, uh, uh, bringing out plots of land for them. My people, and then all of a sudden he appoints himself Minister of Land. My people, what does that let you know, or Commissioner of Land? What does that let you know? What does that make you understand? He just lets you know that he's putting himself in charge of those lands. And my people, if we are being very, very sincere with ourselves, when he would do this, when he would actually say this, give a set of lands to do to the Fulani headsmen, it would not be on the news because he is the minister of uh, land, in quotes, and that uh, he would be able to do anything. And so far as it's coming from the governor himself, um, people would be forced to comply. And that is the truth of the matter seeing that maybe he has found out that uh, it would not be possible to maybe coin people or coin uh, anybody that he would appoint or the people around that he would appoint to actually do the kind of things he would want them to do. But then he decided to appoint himself as uh, the Minister of Land or Commissioner of Land, whatever he wants to call himself, just to be able to put in whatever he is, put in whatever it is or whatever evil plans he has for the state. And people, it is very disheartening that uh, a man like Hope Uzo Danger, as we all know, is uh, going into things like this, as we all know that he has already been giving signs right from time. But I didn't know it was, it was this severe that uh, he would actually want to go into something like this. He would actually want to go into this type of things that would actually, that anyone that would simply look at it would look at it as something that was too outrageous or to think about because I do not understand how this particular man would be doing such things and would not get touched or he would not feel remorse at any point in time on everything on anything that he is doing because I do not understand this is your land this is Igbo man's land Biafran's land and what you are looking for is for a way to make sure that you give those lands to, to, to the Fulani headsmen to do what for what reason? Just because you have a higher aim, as it is that at this particular point you're aiming for something higher. And of course you want the favor of the current uh, president. And because of that, you decided to make yourself minister of land. On top of that, you still would use to, 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 to give them land when to, to give them land where they will be living. And my people, these lands are not just for grazing. My people, if you think that these lands are just for grazing, then you are fooling yourself. That means you do not understand the full scope of what is going on. The grazing, the, 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 the grazing is for the cover-up. That is the truth of the matter. Giving the, the so-called uh, Fulani headsmen land for grazing is the cover-up. The main aim that these people are using to actually go after these things or do the things they are doing is for the fact that they would want to find ways. They would want to look for ways to penetrate to penetrate the southeastern region, to penetrate the Biafran states, and be able to attack whenever they want to. That is nothing but the truth. And that is nothing but what their plan is. And if you are being very sincere, looking at the way this, they are taking it, looking at the way they've, they've pushed uh, Hope Uzodema to do something like this, looking at the way Hope Uzodema has made itself do it, it's a plan that is looking like uh, it's going to be very, very fruitful. But of course, you are not going to stand and watch. The PM has observed this and uh, has also been informed, of course, with the Biafra Liberation Army and the Biafra forces in total, knowing that uh, these things are happening at the moment. And of course, are getting ready for a full blown out war that might ensue soon because of the fact that these set of people are very, 
very wicked and uh, they, they, they have nothing in mind but destruction. That is the only thing they have in mind. They have nothing in mind but, but destruction and death. that are expected to support the cause of Biafra. People that are expected to support the cause of every single thing that we've heard there. Is it that they do not understand? Okay, I would say that they, they have, would have put their selfish reasons, their selfish. Uh, 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 um, I would say they are selfish and drivers above any other persons. And that is the reason why they do not care about anything that concerns uh, Ndibu. Uh, my people, what I'm trying to let people know now is that this same set of people have not, have not uh, done anything that would, that would be so glaring or so good that uh, this set of things should be done in the right way. My people, it is very, very bad that this is the extent it has reached. This is, we've come to that particular time where this whole thing has uh, escalated to this extent. And that Igbo leaders, uh, Igbo leaders, Igbo politicians, even Hanes and Dibo, we cannot, cannot even clearly be trusted. How uh, you cannot trust your own people to do the right, to do right by you. You cannot trust a fellow Igbo person. My people, that is why we even lost MNK in Kenya. Because of this set of people, I hope DOS and uh, maybe got information, and I don't know the whole history that comes up with it that turned up the whole betrayal limit of everything that caused why we lost Ohamadike Ndibo, uh, Maze Namdekano. And at this particular point, we still look at it and we think of why why we find ourselves in such states, why we find ourselves in such in such bad states. My people, in fact, I would call it a bad state because it is not what we would expect to happen. Why would we find ourselves in such in such in such states? But then, what can we say? We can only decide to do better and do what is right, and then do what we have enshrined in our passion to go for. And that is why the BLA is not going down. We have a. Uh, of course, we have videos of them saying that they are not going to back down on anything they've ensured. Uh, hey, my people, these are the things that uh, we expect from people that are truly f working, working for the movement and have believed right from time that uh, anything that is not VLA, anything that is not on the release of Madden and the Khan, anything that is not on the release of... Uh, anything that is not on the release of Madden and the Khan, anything that is not on the release of... Um, of of we ourselves as Ntibo out from this God forsaking zoo nation, then it is not it, and that is the only thing we'd want, of course. And that is what they, they've been informed that they, you see, let's not go it out of their ocean. Now, the thing I feel like this the strategy we need to make for ourselves is we need to completely, we need to completely. And so, my people, this is uh, this is these are the things that are helping and uh, spoiling a whole lot of things for we be friends. But then, the work is something that we've decided to go on on our own, and we will not stop. We will not relent on any level because, of course, relenting has never been any other thing. We are doing this for ourselves. We are doing it for the lives that have been lost in the course to in the course to be better and every single thing. So, my people, it is not. It is not. It is not. A, it is not something that we are. We are. We are thinking of uh, sleeping on. We are not sleeping on it. We know the. We are not carrying. We know the carry out. VLA is here in every particular, in every state, ready to go against these people. No matter what they've decided to put up against uh, the, 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 the the Biafra Liberation Army. No, nothing of such would hold the. The, the, the Biafran Liberation Army down, no matter the kind of things they send, will always be reinforced with more people, with more soldiers. Adding up that we, are, we, are, we now have foreign alliances that will help our cause. And of course, for a foreign alliance to be able to help our cause, to help what we ourselves are claiming that we want, which we truly want, they need to be able to see that we ourselves are able to fight for what we want. And until that note, until we are able to show that we are able to fight, when it comes out and the, it, the time comes for us to show ourselves and say, yes, this is what we want, when we've given them that hit to the extent that they do not and they cannot relent, they cannot reject anymore, and then they come out and they say these are the signs that these people have been crying and have been saying that they want. That is the aim of all these things that is happening. It is not, we are not doing these things just because we feel like we are doing it because we want a whole lot of evidence to show that we have been saying this and we have been doing this. And these people have been fighting us and we've been fighting back, we've not relented. To show that we really 
wants the release of Mazen and the Kano, and we really also want to we we want to be on our own and that is the main thing we've had in our minds all through that is the that is the that is the movement the 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 the, the passion that will keep moving us until the end so yes my people this is where we come to the end of this particular broadcast thank you for joining us remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications and share too thank you